to have got the Los Angeles Clippers. Now, I think these guys could really struggle on offense. Um, of course, they've got James Harden and they've got Kawhi Leonard. Of course. That's, you know, you've got two superstars there and you've got big man um, Ivica Subac as well, who, for a big man, he does does what needs to be done. But relying on James Harden and Kawhi Leonard at this point in their careers to take you to a deep playoff run and to take you to winning a championship. They're not going to win a championship, but of course, the Clippers, every season they want, that's what they're aiming for. They're not going to get that this season. I guarantee they're not going to get it with Kawhi and James Harden as their two men. We got, you know, we know James Harden's playoff history. I don't need to go into that, you know. He'll he'll choke and then Kawhi can't stay on the court. It's, it's, it's as simple as Harden can't play good in the playoffs and Kawhi can't stay on the floor. So, essentially, there's going to be times when you're going to have someone like Zubach, uh, Terrence Mann, Norman Powell. These guys are going to be your second options at times. And with these guys are your second options, you're not accomplishing anything in terms of winning anything meaningful. That's it's not, it's not happening. Um, the Clippers couldn't even do it when they had Paul George, when they had, you know, the foreman of Harden, Kawhi Leonard, Paul George and Russ. They couldn't even do it then. So they, when they had three three superstars and a passes prime superstar, they couldn't do it. Now they're down to two superstars, they're definitely not going to be able to do it. So so very, very interesting, but we'll, we'll see what the Clippers have got to offer next season. To be fair, they have got they have recently you know, signed Kevin Porter Jr. And they've even... I believe they did sign Bones Highland as well. Um, which is... They're nice fits for them, to be fair. Um, yeah, to be fair, I think these are guys that will add to the team for sure. But at the end of the day, you're going to be looking for guys like Harden and Kawhi to be carrying the team, come deep in the playoffs, and they're not going to be able to. Um, they've just got a playoff curse. It's, it's unfortunate, but when you've got Harden, who's who's going to be taking a lot of threes, and it won't be won't be scoring them at a super efficient rate. I'm talking I'm talking deep in the playoffs. Like, when nobody is questioning Harden's regular season ability. You know, even now, obviously he's not going to give you you know thirty a game. He's not he's not going to average thirty points per game per season for a season now anymore. No, he's not doing that. He's lost he's lost some of the physicality, lost some of the speed, but. Harden still in the regular season is still a more than capable operator. Um, Kawhi, if we can see Kawhi play, you know, a lot of games, it'll be great. Probably won't. Um, but yeah, come the playoffs, Harden will take more shots, miss more shots, and the Clippers won't be in a good position. So I'd be super interested to know what you guys think of uh, the Clippers in terms of how their offense is going to look come next season. Do you think they're going to be okay? Or do you think the Clippers are going to struggle? I'd be super curious to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below.